Let's start with the daily meeting of the production and the PME directors. They discuss whether the last modifications of the power car on the line are available in the workshop. The last instructions sheet appears on the screen. Once the changes have been validated, they will be integrated in the ERP system and the routings will be updated for the operators. In the morning, the EPU manager starts by connecting to the MES tool to check activities of the previous day and prepare the five minutes meeting with his team. An alert shows that modifications have been integrated in the system. He takes notice of it to warn his team. In the workshop, the team is gathered around the APSIS information board, close to the MES screen, to be briefed about the daily activities. On the MES screen, the task sequencing of the EPU team is clearly visible. Color codes indicate the status of each task. For example, the red highlight emphasizes that a task is on hold because of an unplanned event. The blue highlight is for a task ongoing, and green for one that is fully finalized. Each operator can now go to perform his own tasks. The operator comes to his work position and logs into the MES system with the barcode scanner. All the tasks assigned to him appear on the screen in their sequence. When selecting one specific task, the operator has to validate he has noticed the alert informing him a routing change has impacted the task. All the operations to be performed appear. Behind each operation, he will find the related work instructions and the documentation he can refer to if needed. As he moves ahead in his work, he can check at any time directly on his pad any documentation related to his activities and declare the task finished or on hold when relevant. The operator now checks on his pad what part he needs to finish his activity. The part is missing on the tray. He sets an alert in the MES system. At his desk, the EPU manager is informed immediately and solve the issue. The operator has finished his sequence of tasks. He goes through the self-inspection routine using the appropriate instructions on the screen. In some cases, he may be asked to gather and save in the tool critical manufacturing information, such as a critical dimension or serial numbers of key parts. When this is over, the system confirms that everything is okay. The operator has finished his work for the time being. He can now declare he goes out for lunch. At the end of the day, the production director can review all the activities to prepare the report showing the tasks that were scheduled and if they have been performed within the allocated time frame. Atoms has been working in Belfort since May 2013 and good improvement for the benefit of our customer has been deployed. Among all of them, we are able to have consistent data at shop floor level. We have also a close monitoring of activity, and in particular, we have the real information to react quickly. And as a consequence, we have good support of activity organization. And on top of this, we have in hand a system really easy to use. We see also the potential benefit to improve the control of our quality with the last update expected in March 2014, including the link with GSI and the new functionality. Clearly, Atoms will bring added value for us and for our customers.